Hey, look at that. We are a few minutes late, but we are live right here on uh, what's the name of this show. Seven minutes in the morning today. Forget about what you want. What wants you? That's what we're going to talk about right after this. This is seven minutes in the morning where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now here's the host of seven minutes in the morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Yes, Catherine, I was sneaking in. Actually, I was working on a, on a honeydew project, which I was not able to successfully complete. So I'm going to have to figure that out today. How's everybody doing today? It is Tuesday. What is today? September the 24th. Wow. We're getting on with the year, aren't we? 2020 will be here before you know it. Hey, when you get here, do what Joe and Catherine have done already. And Keith. Hey, Keith. Good to see you. Leave a comment. Say hi. Hello. Good morning. How you doing? Whatever sounds good to you sounds good to me. And really, it doesn't. If, if you're on the replay, I want you to do that, too, because I enjoy seeing you guys come in and uh, engage with the comments there on the replay. So uh, yesterday we talked a little bit. Let me get the title right because, you know, you know how I hate messing up titles and getting them wrong. Um, yesterday we talked a little bit about where all your dreams begin, right? And I, I mentioned, so our topic for today is, you know, kind of forget what you want, what wants you. It's a little bit of a rehash of some of the stuff we covered yesterday, but it's an important point to make. Emerson, Ralph Waldo Emerson. How's that for a quote source today? Everything you want is out there waiting for you to ask. That's what we talked about yesterday. Here's the new part. Everything you want also wants you, but you have to take action to get it. You know, yesterday I talked about th this idea that because we are uniquely gifted, talented, and placed, because you are uniquely gifted, talented, and placed. That combination of attributes makes you perfectly suited to fill one spot in the puzzle. All right? It's just, it, it, it might, you know, for some of us, it might be a corner piece. For some, it might be an edge. Some, it's right in the middle. The point is that it's that unique combination of characteristics that makes that puzzle piece fit only in that one spot. It doesn't matter if you get a 50 piece puzzle or a 50,000 piece puzzle. They all, there's only one spot for each of those pieces to go. And the, and if any, even if just one piece is missing, there's a hole in the overall completeness of the masterpiece. All right. So because of that, that spot that you are supposed to fulfill, that role that you're supposed to play, calls to you. Now, this manifests itself, this shows up for you in that nagging idea that won't go away. That, man, I wish we could do so-and-so. Or, I wish we could figure out this problem. Or, what if we did this? You know, I had the, the, we're having a conversation at Christmas one year and my mom and I were talking about something and my son's comment was, man, do y'all ever talk about stuff and not come up with an, a business idea? And I thought about that for a second and said, no, not really. I mean, but, but that's cool. That's, that's the way this stuff is supposed to work, right? The things that. Um, the, the, the hole that you're supposed to fill is going to be calling to you. You will be attracted to that, that nagging idea, that thing that you can't get to go away, that idea that keeps coming back around. There's something behind that and you should spend some time exploring that. Yes, today is already a good day. 
course it's already a good day. All right, so that's the idea I want you to think about today as you get go out and go forth and do great deeds in your day. Just remember that somebody, somebody needs to benefit from your contribution. And, and, and this is where the cart gets put before the horse sometimes. Sometimes we want to know who that is before we make our contribution, right? The reality is I've got stories about this. Keith has stories about this. We make our contribution and then we hear about the people that heard it and acted on it and responded to it. That's just the way it works sometimes. All right, so as you go out today, I want you to to think about um, what is it that's calling you? What is it? What's that? That you know, yesterday we talked about a big, crazy, ridiculous idea, your big, hairy, audacious goal. What is it? Think about what that is. I'm going to challenge you with that tomorrow, so you got to be sure and be here tomorrow to find out how you're going to be challenged by that. But I want you to think about. You know, as you engage in your days, you're making decisions about what to pursue and what to to defer. Is this something that's been calling to me? And I want you to find some time, even if it's just five minutes, find some time today to live in that moment, right? Think about, okay, well, if I really was able to do that, what would that be like? What would it feel like? sound like, look like, uh, taste like, smell like, right? Get all the senses involved. What are the emotional aspects of achieving that? Just five minutes. That's all I want you to do. Spend some time in that today. All right, that's it. Uh, Radio show today. Got a guest coming up today. You'll have to tune in to find out who that is. Talk radio for entrepreneurs gets you for entrepreneurs.com. Talk radio for entrepreneurs.com get you to the right place, you should be sure and check it out. It'll be a fun conversation. That will start in, whoa, 45 minutes or so. Got to hustle, but I will talk to you guys in just a little bit. And if you don't catch me there, that's okay. The replay's up, and you can always catch me back here again tomorrow where I challenge you with your BHAG. Be ready for that. I will be. Will you? Talk to you again tomorrow. You guys have a terrific Tuesday. <laughs>